obviously outlaw motorcycle gangs are prone to violence. Uh, they utilize it in their criminal activity and it's the way they enforce rules. And um, sometimes it spills over in society. Uh, that's our job to combat that, investigate it, and also mitigate and prevent uh, violence and acts like that going forward. I believe they started in Ontario um, by their very name, the loners. They are a loner group. Um, they are not a support club to other um, other uh, motorcycle gangs. Uh, they do affiliate with some and others with not. And obviously in this recent incident, um, there's a conflict with one of the other uh, outlaw motorcycle gangs, which is always our concern that these criminal groups operating in Ontario, sharing the same geographical region, uh, the chance for conflict is high given their propensity for violence. Sometimes people buy these garments, these shirts from motorcycle shops or rallies, not realizing the significance when they say support your local outlaws, support your Hells Angels. By wearing that, it's basically displaying, I support this team. And then that means a conflict with the opposite team. I would not say these are isolated incidences. I hope they remain that. Um, they're very well under investigation, so I have no concerns there. I guess there's always a potential for violence because these groups you know, carry guns and are involved in violent crime and utilize violence to enforce um, some of their OMG rules. So yes, there's always a potential, but we're aware to it, we're alerted to it, and we're very much involved in a collaborative effort to, you know, promote public safety. I don't see a huge elevated risk to the public. I don't. Um, we have to be aware, and that's why we put out these warnings, just to, to be aware of who these outlaw motorcycle gangs are. They're, they're not the cool gangs you see on TV. They are criminal organizations.